Every day for the last couple of years, I've been using and testing macOS operating systems. Sometimes you do get a good, amazing polished update, but then other times you get otherwise. So in this video, we're going to be looking at macOS 14 Sonoma and see if it's an update you would want to jump on right now. First things first, the first thing we need to cover is when this update is going to be released. And on Apple's website about macOS 14 Sonoma preview, you can see that they highlighted that this update is coming later this fall. Last year with macOS 13, the update came or was released on October 24th. With this year i don't see there being any exceptions and you can look forward to seeing mac os 14 sonoma being released sometime in october unlike the previous mac os 13 os this year's update actually drops support for three macs what you see here on just above my head on the left hand side are the supported macs that are supported on mac os 14 sonoma and then what you see on this right hand side are the devices that are supported with mac os 13 ventura you can see when it comes to the iMac Mac OS 14 Sonoma needs a 2019 or later but previously you can see it used to be 2017 and later so it's dropped support for some iMacs and then when it comes to the iMac Pro you see that remains unchanged and that is the same with the MacBook Air that remains unchanged however if you have a MacBook Pro you can see previously with Mac OS 13 it used to be 2017 and later and now with Mac OS 14 it's 2018 and later if we go to the Mac Pro section here that remains unchanged so is the Mac Studio it's a pretty new device so it remains unchanged change comparing with last year and then you can see here when it comes to the mac mini that also remains unchanged and the macbook is no longer mentioned when it comes to mac os 14 sonoma so these are the supported devices and this should sort of give you a brief overview or picture to see if your device is supported or not when it comes to how to update your device to mac os 14 sonoma this year there's actually a positive change and we have to give props to apple for this one because with the previous years you actually had to buy a developer account if you wanted to test the developer updates of mac operating systems but as you can see here that is no longer the case this is the apple developer page developer.apple.com is the website and you see here when it comes to some of the benefits and resources with a paid developer apple id or with just signing in with your apple id you can see here on this left hand side you can see this is just by going into this website developer.apple.com and then you sign in with your apple id and you see some of the benefits that you have and then this is actually paying the hundred dollars per year apple developer program and you can see the prices stated or mentioned there and before with the previous mac os updates or with the prior years this os beta releases or operating system beta releases was actually unhighlighted and it wasn't available with just signing in with your apple id so you had to go into the apple developer program and then pay the 99 us dollars per year in order for you to get these operating system beta releases so now with just going into this website and just creating an account you don't have to actually click enroll as long as you create an apple developer account you can actually start to download mac os 14 sonoma betas for free the way you find us if you go into the account section here it will prompt you to sign in like i just did here and once you create an account you come to this page and if you go to where it says software downloads right here you can see here you have the latest updates that is ios 17 and ipad os 17 as well as mac os 14 betas or mac os 14 sonoma so this is how you're going to update and once you you've created a developer account you actually don't need to download the profile like what we've seen with prior years so all you have to do is now go into your system preferences and then 
once you open up system preferences go to general and go to software update on this section here you want to click where it says beta updates and choose developer betas right there and then you will see your apple id that you use to create a developer account that's the one that's going to give you these updates and then you'll be able to click done and you will see mac os 14 sonoma developer betas if you haven't already installed them this is a positive change because unlike the previous or prior years where we needed to download a developer profile now all apple does is authenticate the developer account using your apple id that you use to create an account and then they will just give you the update just like that no need for downloading any third party or sketchy profiles from free sites at this point in time we've seen a lot when it comes to mac os 14 sonoma we have a rough idea when this update is going to come out we know the supported devices and now we've seen the updated way that we are going to be updating our devices to mac os 14 sonoma but the big question is should you be updating your device to mac os 14 sonoma if you're a developer, you really don't have much of a choice because you need to test your application or operating systems with the latest macOS update from Apple, which happens to be macOS 14. But if you are just a regular user or you are just curious to see what the operating system has to offer, are there any, I would say, amazing or updated features that are worth looking into when it comes to macOS 14 Sonoma? Well, let me show you a few. The biggest highlight of this update, as you can see here, are the widgets that we can now place on the desktop. Now, before with the previous version of macOS, we had widgets that were just on this right hand side. But now with macOS 14 Sonoma, you can see that you can place widgets directly on your desktop and add iPhone connected widgets thanks to continuity so the way you do this is just to go to where it says edit and then once I click here where it says edit it pulls up this menu in this middle section here and then you can pull it up and you see that not only does it show all the applications that I have on my iPhone as well for example this lucid widgets these are not available on the Mac widget app store but because I have the application on my iPhone I am able to download these widgets and all I need to do if I see one that I like or that I want to add to my desktop or even this the widget section here I just have to click on it and then drag it there and you can see now the widget has been added right now you can see how the widgets sort of pop out of the wallpaper and they are prominent but an, a cool thing that's here with this update is that if i was to open any application here for example system preferences you can see the moment i enter into this the widgets sort of gray out and blend into the wallpaper to try and not distract you but the information on them is still visible and then if I was to click anywhere on my screen like here on the desktop you can see it hides the applications and then just gives me the widgets and if I was to click back on the desktop you can see the widgets again are grayed out now another cool thing that's here with this update that I have to highlight are the new slow motion live wallpapers that have been added here so if we go into our wallpaper section you can see we have the Mac OS 14 Sonoma wallpaper but then you can see all these subsections that have been added with Mac OS 14 we have landscape we have cityscape we have underwater and then we have earth these are live and for example you can see I have Los Angeles selected on my built-in display you can choose different wallpapers for your built-in display or for your secondary monitor and once you do this for example if I was to click on my desktop here and then I'm just going to lock my device right here you can see the wallpaper comes to life and the traffic starts to move and once I unlock my device it will slowly show me the desktop and everything will come to a slow stop so let's do that i'll just unlock my device you can see how 
the traffic comes to a slow stop right here i've created a test zoom meeting and you can see here we have a new update with mac os 14 so i have reactions i can turn them off like this by graying this section out and if i click it again it turns on so if i click here where it says reactions there's the drop down arrow you can see some of the reactions that we can do so for example this hot one if i do like this the max should be able to detect that and you can see it sends out hearts and it it starts you know whichever position you put the heart in that's where the hearts are going to come from so it is a bit buggy at this point in time so that's one of the reactions and then if you do this you can see the other reaction if you do a thumbs up you can see the like if you do a thumbs down like this it's a da sad grainy day and there's more reactions too that you can do with this update like this this light here and then when it comes to different settings here if i was to go and change my camera to my iphone 14 pro i'll select this um let me say iphone 14 pro camera right here it is a bit buggy so you can see my video has actually froze but what I wanted to show you, if you go on this section and go on the zoom portion, you have the option to zoom in and out and you can zoom in on your subject. My video should be showing here, but because this update is buggy, my iPhone 14 Pro with continuity camera is not working properly, but you can see you have the option to zoom in and out and you still have portrait studio light and reactions as well as center stage. So that is something that's neat with this update i've just shared my screen you can see this icon turns to like a purple color and you can see the presenter view and right here you have some overlays so if i go to zoom you can see i'm sharing my screen and then you can see presenter overlay when overlay is off you basically just have this screen that's floating around that you can place anyway and then if you click there and you put small you can see my overlay that comes up on this section and it sort of has this 3d effect you can see my head can go out of this little circle that they put me on so that's something that's cool and you can put it anywhere when you are presenting you can put yourself here and point at this and say this is the new lucid air sapphire it has 1100 and something horsepower or you can come and say this is the tesla model 3 so you get the idea of this presenter small overlay and then you can make it large and you can see there how i sort of jump out of the screen it's a bit buggy at this point in time but you can see here you have the option to switch your background or put it on this side so you can choose the side as well and you are like the main focus where you can put point at things like this so these are just a few of the many new features and changes that mac os 14 sonoma has to offer there's a lot more to come so definitely do hit subscribe and whether you should be updating or not the advice that i would give you is to have a wait and see attitude because as you can see as we were testing some of these new features and changes the software is quite buggy some of the applications and softwares that I used to record and make videos like Final Cut Pro Ecamm Live and so on are still buggy sometimes they take like 30 seconds to like 45 seconds to open so if you rely on your Mac on a daily you use it on a daily and you can't live without it definitely this is not the time to be updating your device but then you have seen some of the few new features and changing if you have a spare or backup device that you want to be able to test this operating system on then perhaps that might be an option for you but other than that let me know what you think about this video if you found it helpful in a way leave it a thumbs up and uh, check out some of our other mac os related content as i feel it will be helpful for you peace